the first 48 hours after the earthquake uh, are, are two days I'll never forget. I was at base camp uh, the day of the earthquake, the first one, just sitting down to have lunch. And then, you know, the ground just started moving and shaking. And um, we ran out of the tent and looked up and saw the avalanche. It was on us before we had a chance to even realize it. Just over the hill behind our tent, base camp was gone. And, um, and so almost immediately, uh, people started bringing the injured uh, into our camp. And then for the next 24 hours, it was just uh, a triage situation. 18 people died on the mountain. It changed Kent Stewart. He says it moved him to take action for the many friends he has met in Nepal. We are going to have a hike for Nepal here at Oak Mountain. Uh, Saturday, June the 6th. Stewart also says many of his friends living in Nepal are now homeless. And that's why he's inviting others to hike here at Oak Mountain to raise money for supplies to send over there. Every dollar that we raise here next Saturday will go to the villages in the more remote sections of Nepal that aren't getting any help. 